Welcome to the Jones Library Buildings and Facilities Committee meeting. Uh, today is Tuesday, October 17th, 2023, and this meeting is being recorded. I'm going to first perform a sound check to make sure we have a quorum and everybody can hear and be heard. George. Here. Excellent. Farah. Here. Uh, Alex, I'm here as well, and we're joined by Sharon Sherry, our library director. Mm -hmm. uh, so seeing a quorum, calling the meeting to order at 4 p.m. Uh, pursuant to the acts, uh, blah, 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 blah. pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021, this meeting is being conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting can do so by clicking on the live link to the Zoom meeting that can be found on the town library meeting calendar. Um, or di by dialing in by phone, the public is able to comment during the public comment segment of the posted agenda by raising their virtual hand. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted to the town of Amherst YouTube channel. All right, only what two more of those to go. And I don't have to read that anymore. <laughs> Somebody else will read that. All right, um, so uh, the first order of business we have is the meeting minutes. Um, would someone like to make a motion to approve the minutes of September 19th, 2023? I move to approve the minutes. I second. Great, thank you both. <laughs> Any uh, questions, comments, thoughts on the meeting minutes? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, uh, so uh, George, how do you vote uh, in favor to approve the meeting minutes? Approve. Tara. Approve. And I, Alex, approved as well. So that's three zero zero. Um, I see we have, it looks like three attendees in the audience at the moment. So uh, if anyone would like to raise their virtual hand to provide public comment, uh, we'd be happy to bring you into the room. All right, not seeing any. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next item on the agenda, which is the delivery van update. Uh, so I don't think there's anything new to report. We're in the process of uh, getting the actual charging station purchased and delivered before the van comes. Uh, obviously, when we get the van, if we don't have a means to charge it, it's only going to be useful for a day or two. Mm -hmm. uh, so from the time where we originally ordered the van until it came in, because we're on about a year and a half now, um, Ford no longer sells the charging stations through the dealerships, so we have to buy directly from Ford. Uh, so I'm working on that. We kind of had to figure out how to make the PO work and all that. So uh, with any luck, the charging station will get delivered before the van and it will be installed and ready to go. So that's Great. that's. As far as I know, the van has not arrived at the dealership yet. So it's en route. Wow. Farah, any questions? Mm -hmm. um, seems pretty clear to me. So we'll move on to the next item, um, which looks like the North Amherst Library Building Project update. All I've got is that um, they're still waiting for the certificate certificate of occupancy. Um, so I've got North staff there working here um at the jones it has to do with the roof some roof repairs need to be made um uh, before the certificate of occupancy will be issued um so you know we're trying staff would like a month to get everything back in and organized and and all of that so once we're able to get in there then we'll know when we can reopen Yay! Steph, we're really excited to to reopen. So, and we are officially nope. out of the uh, the temporary location. Right. You had said oh. last time that was because it's been uh, re rented to some. It's been rented out to somebody else, and so it's no longer available for us to use. Okay. Far, did you have a question? Yeah, comment? I have three questions. Um, one is, I thought this the building was done. So, what's the problem with the roof? Sure. It wasn't the craftsmanship was not what it should have been. So they went and repaired it once and that wasn't good enough. And so they've got to go and repair it again. Okay. Um and where is the staff now? Like are they just 
among our life the, the other two branches here, here at the jones oh they are at the jones okay yeah yeah and also i read that a bench was stolen has that been recovered or not that I'm aware of. No, we just, wow. yeah, Paul just told us about it. So I, I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So um, I guess I, I have two questions. So the craftsmanship on the roof was not what it should have been. So it needed repair. Is that because they didn't replace, is that on the existing building? Where no, they did no, repairs, the, or? the expansion, the metal roof wasn't installed well properly got it that's unfortunate okay okay and um sorry i'm taking notes while trying to form a question um and the other was um sorry end of day my brain is not working um oh the other is so i know we don't have a certificate of occupancy but does not having a certificate of occupancy preclude us from going in and setting up we, we need the lift because we have a lot of heavy books to bring back in and, and the lift hasn't been approved yet. Okay. So the problem isn't so much the certificate of occupants. I mean, they go hand in hand, but without the lift, we can't. Like, is there it, anything it, we could be doing it's all of it. Yeah. But I mean, is there anything we could be doing to narrow that month so that it's three weeks or two weeks versus a month or. No, that, uh, that this is all I can do is give you an estimate and um the certificate so is, is of occupants right is that be, is that because what needs to be done in the month time is organizing books which we can't move in until we have the lift yeah so without the lift we can't bring in this I, I just I, I just want to understand there's also yeah we can't Go ahead. Yeah, we can't do any work in the building without a certificate of occupancy. So it also involves IT setting up the infrastructure and the computer systems. Um, also, the the new desk has not come in yet. So it's okay. a determined if we're going to use what was in the temporary location or if the new desk is going to come in in time. But um, and just, you know, because of this renovation, it did shrink shelving. So it's going to take, it's not like they can come back and put everything back where it was. Right. They, they kind of have to figure out how to reconfigure it. And because they haven't been able to spend any time in the building itself, it's kind of hard for them to know exactly what they're going to do as soon as they walk in there. So it's going to take some time. And they, and they can't go into the building and spend time to figure that out because it's not deemed safe yet is it's that... just not safe yeah yeah okay so so okay so again i you know me and my whole building things is all new to me so so essentially without a certificate certificate of occupancy staff can't go in and start formulating a plan because it's not deemed safe and we can't get that until the roof is fixed and that's the last bit and then town hasn't given us an given us an estimate yet for when that repair work will be done. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. I mean, that's again, we're in town's hands, it sounds like. So, all right. Thank you for giving us an update. Mm -hmm. Yep. Far. Go ahead. Sorry, one last. So, um, are these roof, roof repairs built into the cost? The original cost, Sharon, or is I don't think it'll cost any more. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I, I would imagine they're having the contract to pay for that. Yeah. yeah. I would hope. But I mean, again, that's yeah. sound. But yeah, I would hope that's, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. If there's nothing else on the North Amherst Library, then um, the monthly billing and grounds report, which I think far stole your thunder of the stolen bench, maybe, but anything else? Hopefully not. <laughs> I don't have anything, George. Yeah, I don't have anything to add either at this point. <laughs> Although the heat has been turned on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's oh wait, and the fall. other big news. The other big news, the tent has been taken down. That's a big deal. Yes. Is it is it gone, Sharon? Is gone. It... Okay. It's yeah. so pretty outside now. <laughs> yeah. Um, because because the tent because the tent was purchased with uh with grant funds through the town, the town has retaken possession of it. So, oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Last time we were going to try and hang on to it, but they said no. We just don't have anywhere, we don't have anywhere to store it. Um, okay, we just right. don't. It's it's there's nowhere to store it. So, 
uh, the town the town now has possession of the tent. But if we needed it back, we could ask for it. I'm sure we. I'm sure we could. Okay. All right. That's so weird. I was wondering what was so different about the library, but it didn't. <laughs> you can see the front of it again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Even the skeleton is gone. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh. So much more space. <laughs> okay. So with the with the heat being turned on, um, nothing so far so good. Knock on wood, everything is operating as it has. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so backup building project planning. So anything new from town on that? Any updates from no. town? No. Okay, so still waiting on town. Okay. Um, so I see that I think we are at four attendees now, and I think we've probably talked about the things that we're going to talk about. So I'm just going to open it up again if um, there's anyone in the public audience who has a question or comment they want to share with the committee. We'd love to hear from you. Nope, nothing. Okay, well, thank you for those of you who attended. We appreciate you joining. Um, your public comments are always, uh, and questions are always welcome and encouraged. Um, there's no topics anticipated by me. So this was a pretty quick meeting, unless there's anything else anyone has. No. Okay, so I will call the meeting adjourned at 4.11. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs>